Hey guys, Turkey Cat here, and this is Fun Facts, the third take of this video. The changes have hurt my brain multiple times. I stand by the fact that I don't like passive skill tree changes less than 24 hours before the new league going live. Um, this seems like a terrible change because it seems like you have to spend an extra dex node. However, if you took both sides as this build does, not every build does, but if you take both sides, this is the same amount of points here as it is here. So if we count quickly, so let's say you're playing a soul rend like EB more more hybrid build. Some of you will be doing that. You're going to be coming across the bottom from uh, Fangs of the Viper. So we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So if you take both sides, 14 points. Okay. So on the new tree, if you take both sides, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So it's the same amount of points. You gain 10 decks over 10 int, which is actually good um, if you're rooting along the top because I would actually need a bit more dex in this build, so gaining 10 dex is a buff. It also gains access to a two-point jewel also through dex, which is also a buff. So for my one specific build, which is very odd in the way it roots, it is actually a buff. <sighs> I've read a lot about this change. Like, a lot, a lot. I've sent angry messages to people about this change. Apologies. Counting is really difficult. And I'm, I'm including myself in this because I, I didn't actually take the time to sit and count the nodes for a long time. There are some builds which have been, like, messed about by this. And there are some builds which have straight up benefited by this. Um, now... Even though this does technically buff... Well, no. Even though this does actually buff my build, I still think this is a bad thing, though. Um, so it took me, like, two hours of counting to work it out. Um, but not only that, once we get a final variation of this, all the path of building is going to have to be updated. So all of the uh, build guides, everything that's been posted, all needs to be updated. This has also caused probably a massive internal debate at GGG because they've published a change which is mathematically better for some people, but it doesn't look mathematically better. Um, so people like me will agree about it. Some people did get fucked, but this is generally good for a lot of builds. Um, and now they're having to be like, okay, well, do we revert the change? Do we keep the new change? Do we change it again? Because some people want it to connect like across this way and this way. And now they're having to spend a bunch of time talking about something and double checking maths. Now, something which did legitimately get worse with this change is inspired learning. Um, so inspired learning is very powerful um, with this setup because it gets access to four very good nodes. If you don't know inspired learning, it's uh, a unique jewel, anything applied in a small radius of this little orange ring. Four notables, you get a mini headhunter effect. So before most people have gone for probably um, blood drinker, uh, frenetic, uh, resourcefulness and then soul thief and then if they were a ci build they would have taken like mind drinker instead of blood drinker for example um however with the new setup they have to go for one two three four and they can't get resourcefulness which is really good um that might have been intentional it might have been like an intentional way to nerf inspired learning um there's a lot of unique jewels which are very powerful so you got to think about like my of the meek intuitive learning um, inspired learning that makes changes like this even more complicated from a developer point of view because any change you make needs to appease reddit appease streamers who can't count and also make sure that they don't fuck it up and yeah it's really weird it's really weird and maybe inspired learning might somehow like just graze it on the tiniest millimeter so it's not even inspired learning nerf 
it's really difficult. I think the main thing really has just been like the radio silence. So they like publish the change and then haven't said anything else. Um, so even if it actually does turn out to be mathematically superior for some people, and even if the inspired learning guys didn't actually get nerfed, because they haven't said anything, they've let this uproar happen over nothing. We saw a similar thing with Elementalist, where Elementalist was posted in a very um, unintuitive like state because it didn't work with terms of applying shock and chill the way that we thought it would work, but it was actually an incredibly strong ascendancy. And they posted it and they let the community get really angry and really like, Wah! because we didn't understand it. And then once we actually understood it, we were like, oh, that's actually a really good change. So it could even be a case where this is actually like a really good change for a lot of people and they know this. And they're just like letting us like re at the mouth and maybe just like any publicity is good publicity or whatever. But it's mostly just annoying having to update all my path of building stuff. Even though this is actually a buff for the build that I'm planning on League starting on. Quite a significant buff actually um, since I'm gaining uh, a 2 point jewel and 20 decks on a build which was struggling to meet dex requirements. I would still personally prefer that they didn't do it at all just so they didn't have to spend internal time and also so they don't have to uh stir everyone up and all of that other stuff so yes tldr this is a change um one thing i will just note briefly about these three points here that a lot of people will have to root through these damage nodes these damage modes might potentially be bad for soul rend depending on how soul rend works so i'm going to keep going back to my beautiful soul rend drawing so if you don't know the way that soul rend works is you shoot a projectile that's this line and then the projectile rapidly uh reapplies its debuff in a small aoe so woo, ah, woo, ah. um it's constantly like reapplying that debuff right so woo, debuff 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 if you get too much prod speed, then you might be in a situation where you're like missing ticks. So what I mean by that is let's say that uh, the enemy is here, right? So like this is the enemy. So if we go back to our uh, little projectile paint here, every like, I think it was every 100 or 200 milliseconds, Rory said it will reapply um, a new debuff. So if you have too much prod speed but not enough increased AoE, you could be in a situation you miss out on a debuff uh, reapplication, and that could slightly mess up your damage. Um, again, spamming soul rend, like doing multiple sorens, it won't stack the damage. It's just going to increase your uptime of the debuff. The more uptime of the debuff you have, the more consistent your damage will be. So if you have a very slow projectile, you don't need to cast as much. If you have a very fast projectile, you need to cast more often. Um, so any increases and changes to projectile speed or AoE, potentially good, potentially bad. Scaling this AoE as good as possible will always be a good thing, but scaling the projectile speed is something you really need to kind of like watch around about. Another ability which works in a similar faction is ball lightning. Um, and realistically, it's going to be very difficult to really even tell if these nodes are good or bad. Um, so it's a bit iffy having these nodes which might potentially make builds worse situationally because obviously they'll be better in terms of off screening further but worse in terms of single target it's all it's all very very confusing um but this is actually a buff and i'm mildly amused that it took me two hours and three youtube videos to work it out but anyway i'm Taki. have a good day controversy by the way Apologies if my path of buildings don't work. I'm not going to put out any more path of buildings on YouTube until we have a final passive skill tree. Because until we have a, path, a final passive skill tree, anything I make needs to be instantly updated. So yes, I'm Taraki. Have a good day. Bye bye I'm not actually going to press stop recording. Um, because I need to hit this video to over 10 minutes to get that extra mid-roll ad. And I don't even always run mid-roll ads on my videos. So this extra bit of filler here isn't even really giving me any money. And let's be real, I mean, YouTube videos don't really give you money in the first place. 
So, I mean, I think the real takeaway from this is I should always uh, record a video three times before I publish it on my channel. What about that Celestial Cat MTX? Am I right, guys? I mean, wouldn't that be cool? Celestial Cat Soul Rend? Okay, I can end the video now. Bye. <laughs>